Hey, what's up guys? This is Ali from isocialu.com and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you my new favorite tool to find hashtags on Instagram. And I'm calling it new because I know I've created videos on this channel before and I've shown different tools and tactics that I use to research hashtags for myself and my clients. But this tool is fairly new and I discovered it just a couple of weeks ago, but I am in love with this tool and I wanted to share with you guys and tell you why this tool is so cool and what's the difference between this tool and some of the previous tools that we have seen or you may have seen on YouTube or other places. Now, before we jump into the video, you know what to do, right? So subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of all of the future videos. All right, let's jump into this tool. It's very simple and that's the beauty of this tool, but also it's very, very, very powerful. And I'll tell you the difference between this tool and the other tool. So here's the website. It's the, the meta hashtags.com. Super, super simple name. Ooh, did I click on that? Maybe. Now here is the, the key thing about this tool. Uh, it's right here using this tool when you use a lot of other tools they'll give you hashtags related to the keyword or whatever you put in and actually let's do uh, let me show you one of uh, my other favorite tools is called displaypurposes.com and once i let's say if i was using this to research my hashtags i put my social media that's my niche you can put food vegan whatever your niche is music dance and then it'll give you the 30 hashtags. But here's the thing, how do I know which of these hashtags are gonna work for me? I don't. And that's the problem that the meta hashtags.com, it's a free tool, first of all, it solves that problem. So let me walk you through this. So again, you know, here are some examples that you can try. And I would say whatever your niche is, dance, music, food, local business, marketing. So in my case, it's uh, social media. So I'm gonna input that and generate hashtags. And here is the difference or the magic or the secret sauce, I would say, uh, about this tool, metahashtags.com. It's for every keyword or hashtag. So I put my hashtag and here's some that this found. There is some data that it also pulls from Instagram's API. And that data is amazing. That's the, the key or secret sauce. So let me first show you what that data is. So first of all, let's say I input hashtag or social media and one of the related hashtag is hashtag social media marketing. But is it gonna work for me or not? I don't know yet, but we'll we'll find out in a few seconds. So first of all, what, what are these numbers? So let me show you or talk about these. So first of all, 9.6 million. So that's how many posts are there on Instagram that have used uh, this hashtag a lot. And look at this, 516 per hour. So every single hour, more than 500 people uh, are using this hashtag. And then here is the how many likes uh, or hearts uh, this hashtag gets so 748 on average and this is the number that I pay attention to a lot so 146 minimum so what does this mean so this means let's actually go to Instagram and by the way if we are not connected on Instagram make sure you do follow me at Ali Mirza 2k uh, so let's do a search right here. I'm just gonna search for social media or actually let's do social media marketing And if you notice so first thing that you see is the top posts and then you see the the most uh, recent posts So if I go back here, this is the number that I pay attention to so what this means is the minimum number of likes that are there on the top post is 146 and then this is the uh, average comments. So what this tells me, imagine when you look at your Instagram account and you only get on average, let's say 50 likes or 50 hearts. Guess what? That's not gonna get you in the top posts. And this hashtag may not be a good one for your account. So you see how 
these number by paying attention to these numbers, you can not only find the relevant hashtags to your niche, which is right here, and which is what we used to do or we, we can do with this display purposes tool or similar tools, but you can also find hashtags that are relevant or most likely to get you in the top nine posts for your account, your Instagram account. So let's just take a, an example. Let's say on my account, I get my average is 150. So when I look at this and the minimum is um, 198. So most likely, you know, I'm, it's gonna be really hard for me if my average is 150, it's very, this hashtag is not gonna work for me. Another thing I, that I pay attention to is how many people are posting in that hashtag per hour? And if you have a small account and there's a lot of people who are posting, then your, your post is gonna be lost in the noise, right? It's not gonna stand out. So those are the things that you wanna pay attention to. So in our example, let's say I wanna use this hashtag because my average is 150 and this is 146. So it's kind of like on the borderline. So I'll let's just select this and you see how all of my selected hashtags are gonna go into this and then later on once I have 30, 20 or, or however many you need, you can copy these and then use them. So let's keep going and so for example right here, this could be a really interesting hashtag. So the, the minimum uh, number of likes I need to be in the top nine or you know potentially in the top nine is the 120, which you know if I'm, my average is 150, that's doable and then the, the post per hour is less than six, so that's not bad. So that means if I posted something today for the next like um, four or five hours, it's gonna really be on, on the front and center of the recent posts. And the traffic is not bad, 208. And But here's the thing, it's the AdWords. So this tells me if I do wanna attract, so Google AdWords is the, the, the hashtag. So if I wanna attract people who are into paid ads, which is actually my audience, so this will be a good hashtag for me. So I'll do that. Ooh, this will not. So marketing digital, look how many, 555. So I can use it, but it most likely it's not gonna do anything for me, right? So this is how you can kind of like go through this list. And so here's another one, search engine optimiz uh, optimization. So again, something that's relevant to me. 122, that looks good. Uh, 13 posts per hour, that's not bad. If this number was, uh, let's say, 50 or even like 25, I'll probably stay away from it or try to stay away from it uh, because even though, you know, I may have good chance to be in the top nine, but that if, let's say, a hashtag has low uh, minimum uh, likes or hearts, but the traffic or the frequency of posts are really a lot, that tells me I need to get a lot of likes in short amount of time to be in the top nine for that hashtag. So that's something that you need to be uh, paying attention to. But you know what, one thing that I noticed, um, I was using tools like this and just moving from here to a tool that gives you just more data and you may not be able to, on the first go, you may not be able to pick the perfect hashtags, but just by being mindful of these metrics and this data, you'll actually do much, much better. And same thing, you can just keep going. And here's another one, social media coach. Oh, this will be great for me. So if my average is 150, this is good. Um, eight posts per hour, that's great. So that tells me, you know, if I posted in uh, next hour, there's gonna be eight more people. And then in probably three hours, 24 people. So that means I, I have three or four hours to get this many likes to be in the top nine. So really interesting hashtag. I would probably include that. And then if you wanted to, let's say, uh, if that seems interesting and you wanna kinda of dive more into it, you can search for that. Uh, I clicked on it and now it's this, this feed is showing me the related hashtags to the social media. This was the related hashtags to hashtag social media and now this, this is hashtag social media code. So you can all kinda, of, let me go back. So you can pick different hashtags and do kind of go deep into your research by just clicking. So this is it guys, I, a really simple tool, but I was super excited. I wanted to make this quick video and show you how powerful this tool can be. Um, make sure you test it out. And like I always say, hashtag ABT, always be testing you. And then 
uh, pick the things that are working for you, for your brand, your account on Instagram. And then if it's not working for you, just toss it out. You don't need to spend time on things that don't work. But I'm super excited. I just started using it. I love the fact that we can actually look at the numbers and then pick hashtags that are more likely to get us into the top nine or the trending area of our uh, niche or rel uh, related, related hashtags. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, the website is metahashtags.com. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.